Welcome back to our channel. Today's video will discuss two powerful and reliable alternatives of the Visio tool and diagramming for beginners. Let me start by telling you that Wondershare eDraw Max and Wondershare eDraw Mind are proficient tools for diagramming and mind mapping, which is a useful aid for students and professionals to organize information. Both are backed by artificial intelligence, assisting in elevating your educational and professional tasks. Now, are you someone who loves being recognized by everyone for your artistic diagramming abilities? Then you are at the right place because today's video is going to be a diagramming tutorial for beginners using these two tools. Wondershare eDraw Max is an online tool for creating diagrams, not just any diagrams, but all forms of educational enterprise and innovative diagrams. Here, you can create your flowcharts, mind maps, roadmaps, and relevant diagram. In addition, you can use AI assistance to generate diagrams for you and customize them afterward. Along with its web accessibility, Wondershare eDraw Max is compatible with all your digital devices like Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, and Linux operating systems. With its cloud technology, it keeps your tasks synchronized and you can access and edit previously created diagrams from anywhere. Here, we will discuss how to use eDraw Max for your professional and creative tasks. The primary function of eDrawMind is to help manage workflow by breaking down technical complexities or jargon into a comprehensive and visually appealing diagram known as flowcharts. This diagram software offers different types of flowcharts for diverse contexts such as BPMN, workflow diagrams, audit diagrams, and more, with specialized visual elements for each context. There are two approaches to creating a flowchart in eDraw Max, and both will be discussed in this diagramming tutorial for beginners. One method includes manually creating a flowchart from the beginning by adding and editing every element on your own. The other uses eDraw Max's AI diagramming, which auto-generates an editable flowchart from textual instructions. Want to make a flowchart? Well, using this flowchart software, users can make unlimited customizations in flowcharts and this application's overall editing interface. In this section of our diagramming tutorial for beginners, we are about to explore how we can make a flowchart about marketing. For instance, you are a business student trying to make a flowchart presentation on how does marketing work. Since we are creating a flowchart manually, you should collect all the data related to marketing and highlighting the key points to add to the flowchart. To speed up the process, you can use eDraw Max's Ask AI feature to generate information. Stay tuned to comprehend this step-by-step -step procedure of eDraw Max diagramming features for beginners for flowchart creation. Step one, upon downloading this diagram software on your device, launch it to access its main menu. From the side panel at the left, select the new option and from the appearing panel adjacent to it, select flowchart. Then choose the flowchart categories on the main screen. Let's go with the basic flowchart here. Upon placing the cursor on your desired option, click use immediately. Once you reach eDraw Max's editing interface, navigate the cursor towards the left side panel and select a desired shape under the basic flowchart shape selection. Then drag and drop the shape to the editing section and make a pattern. From the same panel, go to the arrow shapes, choose an arrow shape according to your liking, and bring it to the editing screen to connect the shapes. This will feature the direction of the flowchart while maintaining its flow. Once the flowchart is ready, tailor it according to your needs. Move towards the first box, double click on it, and write or copy paste the topic of your flowchart presentation. That is, how does marketing work? Step five, right click on the added text and customize the text from the options. You can change the font, color, and size of the text from there. Furthermore, you can fill the box with the color you desire or resize the box as well. Similarly, add text to other boxes and complete your flowchart. Press Ctrl S, keys from your keyboard, and you'll be directed to a new window. Choose the Browse option on the screen and save this file on your device. Now that you have learned how to create a flowchart using this diagram software, you'll be amazed to know it has more to offer. With this tool's AI integration, it can create automated 
flowcharts for you and boost your work productivity. With this AI tool's generative abilities, you must do nothing. Just add a prompt explaining the topic of your flowchart and the AI will generate appropriate results. In this section of our diagramming tutorial for beginners, we'll give you insights on AI flowchart generation for another business assignment. Let's suppose the assignment topic this time is roles assigned in a marketing team. Pay attention to the steps we are going to discuss next, especially if you're a beginner. As the diverse flowchart options might confuse you at first, step one, once you reach the main menu of eDrawMax under the recommended category, select blank drawing and then click on the create new button. Step two, from the editing window, navigate towards the AI tab present at the top toolbar. Then select flowchart from the section appearing below. After that, move toward the AI panel on the right side and add a relevant prompt. Step three, now that you have learned how to access the AI tool for generating a flowchart, Add a prompt saying roles assigned in a marketing team. The AI will generate a flowchart on it. You can further customize this flowchart by changing the text font style and colors. To do this, select the text in the box and right click on it to explore your options. Furthermore, you can fill in the box through the colors bar given below. Then save the flowchart, repeating the same process you saved the previous one. Next in our diagramming tutorial for beginners is creating a user case diagram using eDrawMax. You must have heard about user cases, but it is used in software development or product design fields to visually represent the relationship between the user and the system or product. There are diverse categories of templates specific to users that fall under Unified Modeling Language, UML, in eDrawMax diagramming features for beginners. In this section, we will learn how users can create a user case diagram for an order processing software of a bookstore. By showing the purchase process without delay, let's clear out the confusion along the way here. Step one, navigate towards the new option in a panel at the top left and then expand the software and database option from the selection panel adjacent to it. Further, choose the software development option and scroll down the screen where multiple templates are showing. Under the UML modeling section, click See Templates. Here, you'll see a multiverse of templates. Let's pick UML Diagram Online Purchase. You can click on the template to see a preview of it, or you can simply click the Use Immediately button to start editing. Now, after selecting the template, start adding the relevant information. In this case, let's consider that our product is a Harry Potter book and the product ID is HPPS3111. In purchase, we'll add the selection process like choosing a book, adding it to the cart, adding information, and making transactions. The end user box will be the user purchasing and all the details he gave. In the payment section, the payment amount will be added, and in the payment module, add the information on the component that the system used to verify and complete the transaction, which in this case is PayPal. In the account, add the bank details of the end user. Furthermore, change the color of the text by selecting it and right-clicking on it. Moreover, use the color bar to fill in the boxes with different colors. You can also experiment with the size of these boxes. When satisfied with the results, choose the typical method to save this user case diagram on your device. This is not where the eDrawMax diagramming features for beginners end. There is more room for those who like experimenting with different templates and want to unlock their creativity. These are templates available for a diverse array of backgrounds like engineering, design, education, and more. Let me show you some of the popular templates from eDrawMax's template library. Example one. If you access project management from the left side panel, then you'll find many categories of diagrams under it. Here, under the roadmaps category, you'll find visually striking templates, each different than the other, designed specifically for a project manager. For instance, you want to create a sales plan presentation. You can use the action plan template for this. Example two, if you are an architect or someone whose works rely on a floor plan diagram, you can also access this option from the left side panel. In this respective template gallery, you can find floor plans for the first floor, ground floor, 
multi-grade floor options, and more. Let's understand it with the help of an example. For instance, an architect needs to create a home plan. Under the similar category, choose Home Plan 1. This template includes a master bedroom, two single bedrooms, a dining room, and a bath. You can also edit this floor map by using the AI image feature with eDraw Max. Another example we have is of network diagrams to assist IT experts and people working in the related fields. It has basic network diagrams, the Cisco network topology, logical network diagrams, and more. Moving forward to the next section of our video, here we are going to discuss our second AI tool, renowned as Wondershare eDraw Mind. This tool is popular for its ability to generate unique and illustrative mind map designs. You might be wondering about what mind mapping is. This technique is to craft a visual representation or diagram of your ideas for brainstorming. This is a fantastic mind mapping tool for project managers and students who like to keep notes of their daily tasks or tests. The only difference is that it is more friendly and is immune to loss as it is in digital form and can be preserved on your device or eDraw Minds cloud backup. When you are a scientist or an artist, a rush of ideas should be noted immediately, or they only stay for a short time. Hence, to free your mind of this frustration or worry of forgetting ideas, you can integrate this mind map maker to keep them in one place. Whether you are a learner, or a manager, Wondershare eDraw Mind has mind mapping templates that suit your role or the context. Now that you are aware of mind maps as the primary function of this software, let's see how being a student, you can create a mind map for time management using this tool. In this video section, you'll see the step-by-step -step procedure from accessing the mind mapping option to downloading a well-crafted mind map on your device. Let's start our time management mind map tutorial without any further delay here. Step one, once you have downloaded and installed this tool on your device, log in to access all of its features. In the main interface, you'll see many options available for use. However, to use its mind map maker, click the create option at the left and click the mind map option to proceed. Upon reaching the editing interface, you'll notice that it is very minimal and all functions can be accessed without putting much effort. First, you need to select a map that aligns with your ideas. For this, navigate towards the right side panel and click on the mind map. Then expand the layout section and choose balanced from the given options and it will be added to the screen. Step three, now start adding your effective time management ideas there and start adjusting the blocks accordingly. In the main idea box, add effective time management. Then in the main topic box on the left side, add a block of priorities, while on the right side, add a box and set goals. Now, step four, let's say we need to add more blocks or stems to categorize these two. Simply use the copy and paste method to do so and add two categories of the priorities block, naming urgent and important. Similarly, add specific and realistic at the right block. Furthermore, keep copying, pasting, and repositioning to add more information. Step five, once the mind map is created, it is time to customize it. By clicking on a block, a customization bar will appear from where you can customize the shape, fill color, and border color of a block. Moreover, you can also expand the more option to create further. Step six, from the top panel, you can also induce clip art elements from the pictures option according to context in your mind map and make it more appealing. Once you are done with everything, click the Control S keys and press Browse from the respective window to save this mind map on your device. Along with mind maps, this mind map maker offers diverse options like outlines, PowerPoint templates, and graphics to broaden your task horizons. If you want to create outline notes using Wondershare eDraw Mind, you can simply use its Create button to do so. The note-taking window is infused with customization options like background style, width, color, and multiple annotations, like adding hyperlinks, comments, and more. You can also insert pictures and emojis in these digital notes to make them more interesting. In addition, users can transform their mind maps into multiple formats, including PowerPoint, for infusing them into their presentation to increase comprehension. In today's world, how 
can a tool claim to increase productivity without AI integration? Hence, Wondershare eDrawMind introduces AI into its mind mapping to speed up the process while maintaining the accuracy and quality of these mind maps. This AI only needs your command to start creating mind maps. In this section of the diagramming tutorial for beginners, we will generate an AI map on healthy lifestyle choices for adults. Although working with AI is a piece of cake, let me walk you through the step-by-step -step procedure to lower your efforts and increase your knowledge through this tutorial. Step one, repeat the same steps for accessing the mind map window. Once you reach this window, navigate towards the upper toolbar, click on the AI tab, and click AI mind map generation under the given options. Step two, employing this action will redirect the AI mind map generator window where you have to add your prompt. In the description box, write healthy lifestyle choices for adults, and then hit the one click generation button at the bottom of this window. This action will start the generation of a mind map with AI's assistance. After a few seconds, a mind map will appear on your screen with a elaborative yet editable mind map. Yes, even with AI's perfection, you can still customize your mind maps by clicking on them and using the right side panel to adjust the layout, font, and other graphics. Step four, you can assign different colors to main topics, categories, and subcategories for better comprehension and learning. Now, use the same method to export your AI-generated mind map to your device. The wonders of Wondershare eDrawMind don't end. And another example of this tool's productivity and multifunctionality is its ability to generate AI PowerPoints. The AI PowerPoint generator not only crafts a presentation outline, but also offers editable templates and backgrounds for your PowerPoints of all sorts. Be it business, education, or marketing, you can find all you need in this tool's template library. In addition to that, users can generate imaginative images through prompts using this tool to boost their productivity and content's visual appeal. There are three categories of AI images, including universal model, comic model, and image to image. Moreover, users can also create compelling articles through prompts in Wondershare eDrawMind using its AI article generator. Using this feature, you can do copywriting and generate scripts with dialogues that too in multiple languages. Now that you have learned all about accessing the mind map in Wondershare eDrawMind and how to create and edit them both manually and with AI, let's move towards the next part. This part will take you to the end of the video, but before that, we'll learn about some of the user cases of this software. Let's see which of these templates fits your status the best. Example one, if you're a student who found the idea of a mind map interesting and want to give it a try for accessing its mind map gallery, you'll find relevant templates under the education category. In this category, there are subcategories of different aspects of education like math, language learning, and 18 other categories to help you with precise mind mapping and note taking. You can also find study related templates under the note taking category. Example two. Similarly, if you want to create brainstorming mind maps for your business or work-related tasks, then under the work category, you'll find many of them specific to your fields. In addition, you can use the search bar to search for brainstorming mind maps. These templates are unique and never-ending, and all of them possess different yet sophisticated graphics for your videos. Example three. Moreover, if you want to find engineering specific mind maps for technical knowledge management, then you can find them under the work engineering category. However, if you want to find circuit diagrams, simply access the search bar. Upon including our diagramming tutorial for beginners, you are now aware of the applications and features of the above discussed tools. It is important to note that Wondershare eDrawMind is an AI mind mapping tool serving other AI tasks. However, it doesn't help with flowchart creation. To do that, you'll have to use a more professional tool called eDrawMind. Both tools are the product of Wondershare, serving distinct purposes, yet working to enhance your task productivity and content outlook by doing what they are good at. With its compatibility across platforms, we encourage you to use them, whether you're a Windows or Mac user. This brings us to the end of our video. And if you want to watch more mind mapping and diagramming tutorials for beginners, head over to our channel and subscribe for updates.